Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Okay, and we've got one last piece to this problem and then we're done. The last piece to this problem are closing entries. Now, the point of the closing entries is twofold. First, we need to update the balance in our retained earnings so that it matches what's on the statement of retained earnings and the balance sheet. If you notice right now on my adjusted trial balance, I don't even have retained earnings on here because the balance is zero. So that's one thing we need to do. The second thing that we need to do is we need to close out our temporary accounts. Now a temporary account is an account in which the balance is only tracked for a year. So if you think about cash, right? So on January 1st, does the bank call you up and say, hi, your cash balance is now zero. We've taken all your cash. Um, you know, or does somebody come along and they take your landscaping equipment? No, that's not what happens, right? Those balances, they stay. Okay, so all of my, my asset accounts, my liability accounts, and my common stock account, those balances don't go away. These are called permanent accounts. Okay, so let me get my pen out here. Okay, so if you want to look at, we could look at these accounts right here, basically everything here. All of these, pretty much everything that's on the balance sheet. Okay, these are permanent. permanent accounts. I don't know if I spelled permanent right. I think I did. <clears throat> if I didn't, I'm sorry. It's late. So these are my permanent accounts. Now my temporary accounts are the accounts that we only track for one year. Okay, and these are the accounts that are found in my income statement. Think about it. When you get a W-2 from your employer, that W-2 only covers one year worth of wages it doesn't cover all the wages you've earned from that employer from the beginning of time. So my revenue and my expense accounts, these are temporary. Okay, these are all temporary accounts. The other account that's temporary, and we only track it for one year, is my dividends account. This is also temporary. So essentially what we need to do is we need to kind of draw a line on our trial balance. Uh, let's see here. Draw a line on my trial balance. Everything below this line is a temporary account and needs to be closed. So let's erase all the stuff that we put in here. Okay. Let's erase all this erase that. Okay, so now that we have our line here, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hide my balance sheet because we don't really need that anymore. So let's hide that. Okay, let's do our closing entries. So let's put in reference, accounts, debit, and credit. Make my accounts a little bit long longer. Not that long, though. Okay, because I have to make sure that you can see it. Okay. So my reference is going to be closing. And we, let's look at the accounts we need to close out. So we need to close out everything below this line. So let's start with revenue. I currently have a credit balance of $9,800 in my revenue account. So in order to close that account, if I have a $9,800 balance, I want to bring it to zero, I need to debit the account $9,800. Okay. Now I have to credit something $9,800. We're going to credit an account called Income Summary. Now let's capitalize that. Okay. 
income summary is going to be a summary of our income and our expense accounts. You'll see that when we close our expense accounts, how, exa how that works exactly. Okay, so now my revenue account's closed. Now let's close my expense accounts. So let's close, we'll start with job expenses. And we'll put in all my other expense accounts. Okay, let's see. Let's wrap text for those. <clears throat> okay, so my job expenses that has a debit balance. So in order to bring the balance to zero, I need to credit the account. So I'm going to credit job expenses, 1400 I'm going to credit my other expense accounts. Okay. <clears throat> and now if I take a sum of all of these accounts, my total of my expense accounts is $4,075, which agrees to my total expense on my income statement. I'm also going to close this to income summary. Okay, so now I have two entries here. I've got closing my revenue, closing my expenses. So if you were to look at the T account for, let's make a T account real quick. Make a T account for income summary. what's going on in my T account? Well, I've got I've got a credit of 9800. I have a debit of 4075. So what's my balance and income summary? My balance is $5,725, which matches my net income. Well, that's pretty cool. So now the next step now that I've basically created an account that's got my net income in it, is I need to transfer that balance where? To retain earnings. So I'm going to need to close out my income summary account. And right now, that's a credit balance. So in order to close it out, what do we have to do? We have to debit the account. So let's erase this and get out of the way. So now I'm going to debit income summary. And here I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to debit the account to close it. $5,725. I also need to credit something $5,725. My credit is going to be retained earnings. If you think about it, I added my net income to, my, to get my retained earnings balance. So now I'm crediting retained earnings. Now the last piece of this, notice on my statement of retained earnings, I subtracted dividends. Dividends is below the line. So if I've got a debit balance in my dividends, I've got to credit the account. I've got to debit something $1,000. I'm going to debit retained earnings. So now what does that do to this? Well, let's look at my let's look at my account. Okay, so I've got retained earnings. I put $5,725 credit into the account. I took $1,000 debit to the account. So my balance is $4,725, which matches my retained earnings. So now if I did a post-closing trial balance, I'd have a retained earning balance of $4,725 and then my dividends, my revenue, and all my expense accounts would be zero. The date on this entry should be 1-1-13. You want to do it as the first day of the next year 
because if you did it as of 12 31 2012 we would have zero balances in our dividends revenue and expense accounts so we couldn't do our income statement retained earnings statement okay so this is the very last step in the process after you've done everything else you're going to do your closing entry as of 1 1 of the next year you're going to close your revenue and your expenses to income summary you're going to close close income summary to retained earnings and then you're going to close your dividends to retain earnings so that your retained earnings balance if you do your T account is going to match the balance on your statement of retained earnings and that's it if you've watched all of the videos you've now watched the entire accounting cycle